Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a video on determining the number of significant figures in a particular number. All right, um, we discussed before, right, that um, in terms of measurements, significant figures are found by the numbers that are certain, you're certain of, and one that you're uncertain of. For example, this mark right here, it's at the top of the ruler, Okay, you would see that it's at 1.7, so we're sure of 1.7, and the number after it, we're not quite sure, so it could be 1.7.1 or 1.7.2. So, we're sure of the 1, we're sure of the 7, but the last did it in the, in the hundredth place, we're not sure of, but we will have three significant digits for this measurement. Now, you can be asked how to recognize um, significant digits in a number. So here goes. There are some rules we have to go over. Now, the first and most easy of the rules is that all non zero numbers are significant. So any of these numbers right here, okay, all of the numbers are significant. So this guy over here, 359, has three significant numbers in it. And this guy at the back right here, 957642, okay, has six significant numbers. All right. Now, um, all zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Now, digit, those kind of zeros, we call them trapped zeros because they're between or trapped between significant numbers. So this guy right here in front would have three significant digits because two is significant and five is also significant from rule number one. And since a zero is trapped, it is also significant. So that's three significant numbers. This guy in the back here, the 8 is significant, okay, and the 9 is significant here, right? So all these zeros will be significant. This 2 is significant also, so every number in this uh, number in the back is significant, and he would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 significant numbers in it. All right, next rule, okay? All zeros at the end of a number are significant if, Right, very important. There's a decimal somewhere in the number, so we call numbers zeros in the back. Zeros in the back are called trailing zeros, right? Okay, so this right here is a trailing zero. Um, this right here is a trailing zero. That's a trailing zero, okay, and that's a trailing zero. All right, now this trailing zero is significant because there's a decimal right here, right? Okay, from the three, so this first number has three significant digits. Now, this, these two zeros right here are trailing zeros, okay? There's a decimal right here, so those two zeros are significant. The two is also significant, okay? So this guy in the back right here has three significant digits. Now, these two zeros in front are not significant, okay, based on the fact for the last rule, they're called placeholder zeros, okay? So placeholder zeros, okay, are not significant. So these guys right here, all right, are all not significant. So this number in the back has only one significant digit. This guy right here in, front, in here has also only one significant digit, which is the three, okay? These are trailing zeros, but there's no decimal, so they're not significant, okay? So what we're going to do next, we'll pause the video. Okay, you'll do 1 through 10, and then we'll see how we do. All right. Okay. Um, for number 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have four significant digits because it's only um, numbers that are greater than 0, right? So they're, they're non-zero so digits. They're all significant. Done. Okay. This guy right here has two significant digits. Now these zeros right here are called what? Yes, they're called placeholder zeros and they're not significant. So they don't count. You scratch them out, you only have two significant digits. So I'm going to scratch them out in an imaginary way. Okay, these guys right here, this number right here, 890, we have a trailing zero, but there's no decimal in the number. So only the eight and the nine are significant. This number has two significant digits. Okay, for this number right here, we have 9101. Okay, so all four of these first guys are significant. This zero right here is a trapped zero, so he's also significant. This zero in the back is a trailing zero, and since it doesn't have a decimal in number, we have four significant digits. Okay, now this number right here, 
all right, has a trailing zero, but there's a decimal, right? So that number, that zero in the back is significant. All these numbers in front right here are also significant. So this number right here has five significant digits. All right, looking at this guy over here. Now, we have one, zero, nine, zero, right? Zero, zero, one, okay? Now, all these guys are significant, okay? These zeros right here are trapped between significant digits. This is a trailing zero. There is a decimal in the number. Okay, so everything is significant in that number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This number has eight significant digits. All right, moving on slowly. Um, these guys in, in the back right here, the one and the two are significant. The trailing zero is also significant because there's a decimal, but these zeros right here are not significant. They're trailing zeros, so this number only has three significant numbers. Now, when we come to exponential notation, guys, you ignore, for our purposes, ignore the exponent and just look at the, um, the guys in front here. So this uh, number 3.4 times 10 to the 4 has two significant digits, okay? Um, likewise, this number right here has two significant digits, and this guy, number 10, has four significant digits because the 9 is significant, the 0 is trapped right here, the 1 is significant, and this training 0 is also significant because there is a decimal. Okay, so this is a brief review of how you assign um, significant numbers to a particular number if given. All right, it's very important that we know how to do this because you can be asked to round things to the correct number of significant digits. Okay, I always hope this video was a help. And as always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. And I'll see you guys soon.